It looks like this is probably a panel truck. Look at how this came to be here. Let's look at the inside. This is a Willys, like Suburban, that they put on top of this boat. All right, everybody, I am uh, out here at this collection. This is tip of the iceberg. There's 800 trucks at this location. So I'm gonna walk around, show you everything I, that I can. We're chasing daylight right now. We're putting the drone up. We're gonna get as much footage as we can here in the daylight that we have left. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, Diamond T truck here, pretty nice. I like it, I like it. Oval grill forwards here. Federal Works Agency, Work Protects Administration. Pretty cool truck. Both oval grills, nice, rare, very, very, very hard to find stuff there. I'm gonna work my way across the front. So this is a Diamond T truck here. This is pretty cool. I've had some of these in the past. This particular one, there's usually a tag right there on the side of the seat. Might be under the hood. I think this is here. 
like a, I'm not super up on these, maybe a 306 model. Yep, 306. This looks a lot bigger in photos than it is in person. They're actually pretty small trucks. You'd have a hard time fitting like a big V8 or anything under the hood. They're, they're pretty little. Early GMC is pretty cool. Got Yellow International is pretty neat truck. Another early International. Those are both about 37, 38s. This Chevy here is like a mid to late 30s. It's an early 30 Chevrolet, 4854 half ton panel, sad face Studebaker. That's about late 30s as well. Cool little Dodge Brothers pickup. This thing's in really nice shape. Diamond T Wrecker. Love that salvage sign. This here is a Canopy Express Chevrolet. So this is based on a 3800 one ton chassis. This is like a produce truck. These are pretty rare. This particular one is in really nice shape. It's not all rotted away. These are rare trucks. They bring good money. This one's missing the back clamshell. I don't know what this big old sign is here laying on the ground. It's porcelain. Looks like there's a big old International or something in there. This Canic B Express is nice though. Somebody got a goofy hood emblem here, smacked on the hood from a car. But this is a nice truck, this Canic B Express. I plan on buying a lot of this stuff out here, so stay tuned for that. Got 108 Diamond T Wrecker. There's a lot 108 anyways. All of this stuff is coming up at a big auction. This is another 306 model. This looks like it runs and drives. That one's got a nice seat in it. That's a super rare truck there. This is a Diamond T pickup. Those boxes, that pickup box right there is about absolutely impossible to get your hands on. This truck in general is impossible to get your hands on. It looks like this one came out of Canada. This is just an amazing sight right here. I mean, you just do not find this truck. This is amazing. I love it. That pickup box is just absolutely incredible. Nice little half ton long box GMC over here. That's gonna be a 54, 55 first series GMC. That's a 55 first series. Solid front windshield, got the nice clamshell bumper guard on the front. High dramatic. That's a beautiful little truck there. How you doing? One of you fellas happen to be Rob? Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you, sir? I'm good. I got my ass good. Okay. No problem. Good to see you. Yeah, nah. Thanks Where'd for letting us come from? out. Pennsylvania. Holy crap, oh, yeah. I'll be probably your big buyer at the sale. Really? So, yeah. Well, you got yeah. plenty of time at home. Ah! Oh. There you go. You can torch it, take what you want, leave the rest. Okay. I think, uh, you remember a shipper named Robbie from North Carolina? He said he hauled Maybe. quite a few out here for you. Over the years, anyways. He said he'd been here a couple times. Put all in. Did you? Okay. Some you're hauling yeah. Yep. Where'd you get those? Uh, the cab over. I bought five of them cab overs, and then I bought that Jeep. I got a couple Jeeps like that. Okay. A bunch of cab overs. Yeah, I'll be after a lot of the cab over some of the pickup trucks though too they sell yeah. cheap i mean there's too many of them there's a lot i'm hoping i get stuff bought kind of right we'll see so. um i got a question for you though so that 37 to 46 four cab over i bought five right i need two grill shells you happen to have two extra grill shells okay I I got a, right i didn't know if you had any loose that might I be coming a, up in the I sale got one i'm gonna sell on the sale it's a, okay 41, I think. Yeah, that'll be okay. It's beautiful. It's okay. in the igloo up to the igloo. Okay. So there's trucks for it. Yeah, so that'll be online? Yeah, okay. I'll put it in the back. Okay. I mean, I might sell it to you first. Okay. Right now, but you have to look at it. I'd be happy to buy it now. Anything you want to sell me, I'll buy today. I'm happy to do that. Oh, if you, yeah? If, yeah, if you didn't catalog stuff. I could take smalls, yeah. What do you think it'd uh, be worth for a nice grill? I don't know. We'll take a look at well, it. Oh, the nose. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. What do you got inside here? Some cool stuff inside too? So, are you the brother? 
Yeah. Okay. I heard that it was it was two brothers. So what's the story on this? How did you guys put this together? How long did it take? This is my first big sale. <laughs> okay. So how many years was this putting together? 10, 15, 20. That's not, that's a Last lot of work. Last big auction was 99. Okay. We sold it in 99, yeah. Huh? Okay. And I had to start over. That's all the fun, right? You get a bunch of money and you get to go shopping. Shopping's the fun part. Yeah, anything you guys don't want to put in a sale, you'd be interested in selling today, please well, we'll show still me. still have thousands left, so. Okay. It's not like it's all going somewhere. Okay. So you have what, thousands of vehicles left? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, any smalls, I, I'll tell you what I'm after on this particular trip is like extra tailgates, grills, that kind of shit. Ah! Signs. Oh, yeah, like I can start buying up the derelict stuff then. There's lots of good parts on the derelict stuff. Okay, where's that? Is that a different sale or different uh, part well, of the sale? Some of, some of it's mixed in this sale. Okay. So what did you guys do besides put the truck collection together? Sheet well, metal or something? Yeah, or? We're manufacturing. And, okay, uh, fabrication stuff. Business. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look at those posters. He said they were in here, right? Oh, in this room. In this room, man. Yeah. yeah, they're right here. Oh, okay. These are two that we frame. We want to keep these two. There's whole stacks of them in there. Okay. They're uh, nice. Just ah, cool. Yeah, they are. Look at this. Are these, these ones selling there. or are you keeping these ones? I'm keeping these because okay. I had an old friend okay. frame them and I said, well, yeah. you, know, you don't need so many. I, you right. know, we got too much stuff. Yeah. But anyway, these are 60s and 50s. Yeah. And they're just ah, cool, I think. So, and this is actual, came out of a dealership. Yeah. There's an old guy over there. And and I those, just think they're ah, fucking cool. But you have, do you have those same prints going in the sale? Yeah, a okay. bunch of them in there. Okay. Gotcha. They're all the original okay. cardboard. Ah, and nice. So what made you decide to have a sale finally? Just had enough stuff, I want to cash in? More room. More room, we yeah. We spend about 30 grand a year on on mowing around stuff. I you bet, know. yeah. It's expensive. Hell yeah. Well, I'd imagine you guys got a couple million bucks after the sale. It's hard to say. I can't believe how many Diamond T and Fargo and Federal trucks you have with the pickup truck beds on them, because those things are impossible yeah. to find. Any of you want to jump in real quick? Yeah, sure. We'll do some quick yeah. tour around here. Sounds good. Yeah, there's something going around, that's for sure. That's what Rob's got. Some kind of ah. move right now. Man, I had, oh, whatever I had sucked. Yeah, I was real sick last week. So you think you might just put the Bronco in the sale? No, I die from Atlanta, so we'll get it. Okay. Sale. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll take a look at it. I mean, if you already put a commitment on it, I get that. I understand. Well, like I said, these guys buy stuff and they'll come get it. Yeah. Yeah, so like... For it, be one thing, but... Yeah, I really like this big window truck. I got this on my list. I love the big windows. There's another short bed big window. Yep. That one GMC V8 yeah. automatic. Yeah, that's the that's the creme de la creme there. This one here would be a little rough for me. I'll probably pass, but I try try and chase a little better stuff. Like I like this one here. I really love that one up in your driveway, that 55 first series, the orange one. Yeah, that's a runner. Yeah. Actually, Rob, Rob used to drive that around a few years ago. One was Particular one was a booze runner. Okay. You got any loose Canada. tailgates? Yeah, there's. You gotta go out to the yard there. But... Are there any for yourselves and keep them? No. no, no. The fun's the hunt, right? Well, yeah, in a way, yeah, it's, it's fun. We're good at dragging stuff home. Yeah. That's for me the fun part. The scout's nice too. That scout should do well. This is incredible. I wish I would have known about you guys years ago. I always heard there was like this faint rumor of these guys out in western Nebraska that got a ton of stuff and I just never did figure it out. You know, one time we were, uh, some guy come out looking for some Kawasaki triples. He said, we're looking for a guy who come around and got everything gathered up back in the 70s. That's a rare one there, that GMC panel. Yeah. Let's chain her down, I'm like, okay. I got rid of my big gooseneck because I couldn't get around with it. I had a big 40 foot goose and that was just a pain in the ass. I couldn't go picking. Couldn't hit any of these back roads, couldn't yeah, go anywhere with it. It's, 
little bit like driving all the time. Yeah, it's yeah, like that. So now I bought that 22 footer with giant axles under it, and I can just load the ah. out of that thing. It doesn't care. And the DOT leaves me alone. What was the story on this thing? Well, I got it up in Toronto. It's really rough. But it's simple. Yeah. Uh, they claim they only made one. Suicide door, diamond T. It's really bad. But it's worth spending 300 grand on oh, yeah. this door because yeah. it's an iconic piece. I got pictures of it when it was new. It was wow. a, a Seagram's whiskey truck. That's awesome. Some of the original distillers. Yeah. Said Seagram's on it. That's awesome. So somebody needs to spend. Oh, they will. Two fifty, three hundred yeah, on that. Yeah, they will. I, I know they so. will. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is what's in the auction here, right? Well, there's another place out there. There's okay. several hundred out there. There's actually okay. a couple thousand out there. Okay. And then there's a scrapyard over here. There's a lot. Of okay. Do you want to run out the scrapyard now? Or? Yeah, sure. We'll just leave this here. We got that truck's got room. So. They're all gone now, except for this paddock or something. But I mean, going down the road, she never jumped out or was it enclosed. Yeah, it was tarped. Tarp front and so okay. Yeah, it was tarped up. <sighs> yeah. There's a little shop kitty for you. I don't know what anybody ever liked. Oh, uh -oh. hey, Rob. Uh -oh. Close the door. Oh, Woo! Oh, I'm all right. Yeah, no buildings. <laughs> <laughs> wow, those bunkers are crazy. I ain't never seen anything like that. That's insane. Yeah. Wow, oh, look at the windmill blades. Are those decommissioned windmill blades or? Yeah, I got some old wind towers that we took down. I'm just experimenting ah. with them, you know. I don't know what to do with them. And he's got some ideas. Are there. they fiberglass? Yeah. Yeah. I got the towers too, the tubes, oh, the yeah. generator and all that. So, I'm stop the first one. The second. The second. Oh, we're going in a bunker. Cool. That's a lot of pallets. Woo! A good fire. It will be. You gotta wait till winter to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine it's pretty ah. dark in here. <laughs> Oh, look at this, all concrete. Wow. Here, here's that front end here. Okay, yeah, that's it. It's like a 41 or something. Yeah, so you'd sell that one? Uh, I probably should put it on your auction. You don't want to pay nothing for it. You want to buy it for 200 bucks. Cocksucker might bring 1,500. I don't know, you know what's, what I mean? what's the buy it now number? Probably between four and 16, so. I think it, that's pretty well assured. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. He's some guy that's got to have it. He's ah. he's gonna have to buy. It. That's the marquee piece, right? I got the radiator door. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You have to give me a number again. I would. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna do I that. Can even a thousand on the table, and, and you might get it for ah. four hundred on the sale or two hundred. Yeah. Nah, I don't think <clears> I go that cheap, but. This is diamond T's for your fenders. Yeah. These are all diamond T parts. I mean, I paid, I'm just looking at it like, so the vertical one, this is pretty nice shape. Yes, yeah, a nice I, drill. You know. I paid us for an oval, for a 40 oval with the emblems and stuff on it. And that was internet. I paid us. What happened on an auction? It's either going to be good. Right. Or it's going to be okay. Or it could be crazy. Right. It's if we very, could get crazy. Yeah, I hope it gets crazy uh, for you. Well, you, you want to see that, but you yeah. don't know. Sometimes yeah. I'm like this, 150 bucks. And the next thing you sell is some piece of ah, like this. Right. Ah, 2100 Would you do some on this one now? No. Okay. All right. I, well, think the, I think the buy it now number is going to be a grand. Okay. Because I, I think it's going to be a grand. Okay. Especially when a lot of guys just can't get out here, you know. 
try to put it a little further out the road so not not that that helps anymore but... What's that? I was talking about the bunker, I said, that's oh, sweet. a lot of antiques out there. Bunkers will up. Yeah, that's crazy. This is the biggest collection I've ever seen. So they're, they're driving us around now. Yeah, so. Yeah, we'll be staying here tonight. We'll be in Sydney. I'm not going to be able to push any further east tonight, but it'll be tomorrow. So, um, yeah, because we're looking at everything that's in the sale right now. So those are good there. Um, them, them red doors right there. Um, yeah, back of the panel. Yeah, back of the, well, yeah, that's a clamshell for like that Canopy Express. You're missing the top door. It two years before we went Chevy panels Yep. You should put one with that Canopy Express because it's missing it. It'll bring a lot more money if you got the top piece. Oh, is it missing? It's, 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 it's missing one? It's missing the top. I wonder if, is that the bottom or the top? It looks like there's both there. Yeah, it makes, if you guys have one, definitely yeah, put better, it. I better put that. I'm glad you said that. I better do that. I didn't realize it was gone. Yeah. There's hinges there. It should have had one with a window in it. And then sometimes they'd have canvas in them, you know? I should put that on there. You know, you're right. Yep, I'd bid on that if that was in the sale. Because I don't know what it's worth. I wouldn't even want to give you a number. I'd just buy it out of the auction. <laughs> Might pay a lot, might pay a little, I don't know. I sold all this, these were all for old. How about this tailgate? Yeah, I kind of wanted to hang it up, make something out of it, you know, that's why it's still there. That one's pretty rough anyhow. Yeah, but it's cool rough. Yeah, it's cool rough. It's, it's not, bad. It's it's not cool. something somebody would want for a... It's so I tell you what, a replacement one. <laughs> I would put this on a truck because this is a 4753 GMC tailgate. Is what that is. That's an. That's still the old font. Yeah, it's the advanced design. It's got a little cancer in it. You sure that ain't an older than that? No, this is definitely 4753. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm telling you. That's older than that. Maybe you're right. You know more. About what do you think? Now here, you tell me if I'm high or low. I'd give you a hundred on this one. Yeah, I don't want it for that. Okay. It cost me a hundred to go eat. All right. Is that one going to go in a sale, or are you holding it? No, I'll sell just for you on the sale. <laughs> so that intake over there, I don't know what that's for right when my light's on. It's a Ford intake. It looks like it goes on four two barrels. you got to put that in the sale. I don't know what it's for, but it's an all-aluminum intake. It looks like it goes on, on quad two barrels. There's a fucking much shit here. I was going to think about putting this stuff on. Yeah, I would. Especially these doors. This is early. This is like a panel or Suburban. You got that green, that rougher Suburban. That would go good with that. Did you see that one? It's like a 37 GMC. Yeah, that's what that's these doors. Windows on. It's cool. That door, those doors will fit that. What about these hoods? Like this old hood. Yeah, there? definitely. Now they're not, they're not going to bring much money, but the guy that buys the international truck in the sale with a rough hood, he'll buy those. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, this here too is good. If you want to get rid of this, I'd put this in a sale. Yeah, that's a Model T. Ah. Boys, well, yeah. like the shop, the wheels. Believe it or not, this might do 800 bucks in that the sale. Old, the old original Ford Jack that says Ford on it, that hoist, the wheel. How about this? Would you sell this to me? Um, this is a gift for you. Is it? Thank you, you sir. I appreciate it. <laughs> Helping me with serial numbers, and then of course not selling you. <laughs> Oh, we still got time. <laughs> yeah, see now, when you got earlier, they didn't punch nothing in the tailgates. They were just blanks. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that one's a 4753. Now, International used a Knox bed, but even those earlier GMs, they don't have nothing oh, punched in. International, the other one with the checkerboard. Yeah. Metal. Mm -hmm. That's a Knox. Yep. But that's different because they weren't all that way. What was nah. the, with the checkerboard metal? I've had one of them. Like I never got thing. the story. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the story. That, that can't even came with some paint. He just 
picks up on different stuff than I do. Just a different set of eyes. I love having him with me. He was, he was up. I mean, you know, couldn't do nothing about me getting sick, but he was definitely disappointed he wasn't going to be able to make the trip. He had commitments this week. Next day. Okay, so here it looks like we got about a 55 or 6 Buick convertible. <clears throat> looks like a pretty solid car. Got some rust in the floorboards. It's missing a lot, but it's a good looking car. Got Thunderbird here, early model, 55 maybe. Not like up to This looks like a big Kenworth. These were on aluminum frames, are pretty pretty neat. Big project. Bunch of heavy industrial equipment here. I don't think there's much else in this first shed here. Stand on a running board or Just like a Mustang. Here's a 37 Ford pickup, but it is extremely rough. It's not all here. Very, very rough. This is parts at best, but extensive rot. I mean, the grill is not even here. Really, really cool truck. I love these trucks, but this one here is this is a this is a series project. You need a hood, you need grill, you need fenders, you're missing a driver door. Tailgate's there, bed box is there, rear fenders, running boards. Looks like got a flathead V8 under the hood. But those grills bring a premium. That would be a tough one to restore. Good lawn ornament, though. Yeah, it looks like this is probably a panel truck to begin life. It looks like it was done by a body company. They seemed it right here. Yeah, this was done by like a coach builder or something. Looks like the whole body shifted too. Looks like this is like a big cap and it's coming off of the cow here. But yeah, it's a 306 model. Really, really cool. They have a lot of these here, a lot of these diamond tees. <clears throat> We're just gonna keep walking because that truck is so loud. I'm gonna do my best to identify these. I'm, I'm good, but I'm not, not perfect. This is going to be a Dodge Brothers touring car. This is probably teens. Dodge Brothers. I'm guessing anyways. Educated guess based on the DB and the hubcaps. So here we got an early 60s, mid 60s, like a 64 here. Uh, C20 inside. I don't know where we're going here. A couple of cool signs. Holy hell. Look at this. Look at the size of that chain. That is insane. Now that's a chain. You need a piece of, you need a skid loader to move that chain. Uh, we got this, let's talk about this thing. Look at this old, this weird 70s trike. 
Wow. I don't know what motor that is. 3.1 multi-port fuel injection. Some kind of car engine they got in this thing. Jeez. That is interesting. I don't know about that, but I know about this. This here is a 39 GMC, just like the four-wheel drive we have. Um, this is really cool. This is an old bus. Apparently, this has some movie uh, movie production company history. Uh, I got that in a video yesterday on my GoPro. Uh, the guy explained what exactly this was and how this came to be here. Let's look at the inside. So it's set up like a little camper. Oh, this is pretty cool. Got a little booth in the back. Looks like everything in here is all pretty trick hideaway. Got a stove and a sink. This is actually really well built. This is slick. Nice and tall in here. What is There's like a bathroom? Is yeah, that's probably a bathroom. Oh my god, it is. Come on. It's actually pretty functional in here. These seats are sweet. There's a big old captain's chairs in this thing. It's actually very solid. Look, I think it's a school bus to begin with. The motor's totally dressed. This is something I like. A little Cobra, SN95 Cobra, like I have. She's seen better than all. So they got lightning over there. He has the sink, and I have the lair. I'm gonna have to ask him about that. He said he ain't gonna be up here till like 11 today. back here and then we'll hop in the truck got a ford here this looks i'm no expert on these but i'm gonna guess this one the late 70s early 80s all over here it's real solid and three quarter ton four wheel drive 1200 really nice solid truck Temperature is actually awesome out here. Very, very nice. What do we got here? Yeah, I think it's a Buick, maybe. What's that say? What that? Yeah, it's a Buick. 38 Buick. Four door sedan. Got some extra parts. They're really just beautiful cars. Got dual side mounts. That's pretty cool. Not my cup of tea, but nice looking car. This, all of this stuff, this big collection is coming up at a big auction. The auction is going to be done by Crappies, K-R-A-U-P-I-E, out here in Nebraska. Uh, the auction is online only. There's, you can come out and preview if you like, but you know it's going to be online only. It's like eight or nine hundred lots, maybe a thousand lots. Pretty much all of that is vehicles, and it's going to be going off on October 27th. So that's it. But I'm here doing a preview. I'm going to be buying a bunch of stuff out of the sale, or trying to anyways. I'm just seeing what's happening out here. Wanted to see this collection in person. Kind of couldn't believe it. Photos. So here we got this is a lot 230. This is a 48 to 50 Ford school bus. This is very, very short. They're very hard to find this short. Any school bus is hard to find this short. Oh, they welded that thing shut, so it's not going to pivot anymore. But super hard to find. Back up, Shane. Give him a shot of it. Put me next to it. So they're six feet. So this is a really, really short bus. This is what you want if you're going to do a hot rod. Nice short wheelbase. Here we got like about a 46 Chevy cab over. Missing two grill teeth. 
which makes this tough. You know, this is a truck that I would typically be interested in. It's in really good shape. Cab corners are good for it. are good motors in it. Frames all, everything's all original and it's not all, you know, torn up real bad. Doing the, fixing that grill. If you had another grill to donate two grill bars from, the rest of them are all really straight and nice. But if you don't have an extra grill, you know, that, that could be problematic for you. I'm not sure if the pickups are the same. They look very, very similar. So you might be able to just go ahead and take two from a pickup. Here we got about a 40 Chevy conventional front end truck. A little jail bar Ford, half ton, big old dent in the, in the uh, roof there, but not a bad truck. This is probably about a 306 model here, Diamond T. Let's see, that'll be on the other side. Oh, this one somebody stuffed the GMC V8 into. Looks like a, that should be a, like a 288 Pontiac. That's pretty cool. I want to say I had one of these before that somebody did this to. That's pretty awesome. 306. Yep, 306 model. Uh, so this is this is really good here. This is a 750 GMC. This is a cannonball. This is like what I had. So I had a 630 model. This is even bigger. This is the biggest of big boys here. This is huge. Uh, 750 model. This should have a Detroit in it. Uh, probably a two-stroke Detroit. I don't want to force this door because we're biting a cow and I don't own it. Uh, so we'll try the passenger door. This one has the little uh, kind of like coffin sleeper on it. This was obviously a tractor. Got a fifth wheel plate. Definitely a big diesel. I'm trying to see if we can see what motor's in it. What's this say here? Carl something, Denver, Colorado. Got a public utility commission number. There's carbs laying on the floor on the floor, but I would still think this is a diesel. There's a little two-barrel carbs. I don't think they even went on here. Zenith carbs, yeah, no, they're not from this truck, but really, really cool. This had like a big commercial dashboard in it. Sleeper. Get stand up for Shane on the inside. I don't think I'll be trying to buy this just because it's so freaking big. You know, as far as collecting them goes, there's a ton of collectability here. That's highly sought after, but shipping it is a bear. This thing is probably 20, 24 foot long, 20 foot long, probably weighs 13. It's just big and fat and heavy. You need a serious trailer to move that thing. And um, I had a hell of a time getting mine shipped to 630 that we had, the diesel. I think there's a good YouTube video here you guys can watch on that one. We had major problems with that truck getting it shipped overseas getting it shipped in general stateside it was hard so the fenders aren't all banged up there's no rot in that thing i mean if you're looking for a cannonball for your collection you want a solid one that's that's probably going to be the one here we have another cannonball this is definitely a diesel don't know what model this is this is a bigger model than that one Yes, yeah, so this is a Detroit in this one. This has got the blower on the side of the motor. This is another Detroit like what mine had. Pioneer since 1905. Pioneer transfer. So this was another tractor. Looks like this one went out of commission because we're missing transmission here. Got this uh, early conventional front end international. It's probably about a 37. This is a looks like a, just a nice green truck. Really nice straight truck though. There's no rod in that one. Fenders are looking good. All the original wheels, tires, everything on it. Tilt deck still on it. That truck shouldn't bring a lot of money. It's just a nice old truck. Got a diamond T here. This you're getting into the late 40s, early 50s on this one. Beeline Motor Freight. So it looks like it was a beer delivery truck. Beeline Motor Freight, probably the name of the company. And then Miller High Life on the front. That's pretty cool. Looks like this truck had a couple of different jobs over the years. It's this Walnut Grove, manufacturer of something, minerals for livestock. So that truck had a long, hard life at delivering stuff. So this is really cool. This is another Diamond T. This one here is missing some, looks like one hood side. Akron Truck Line, Akron, Colorado. Pretty cool. This is a long wheelbase. Uh, these make really cool hot rods. This one's a little banged up, but it's got this real sinister look to it because it's got these real short windshields. It's only like a 12-inch windshield. Looks like 
these trucks everybody says they look like they're chopped already and they really do and they're cool trucks a lot of people are using those to make custom car haulers out of because they have this like natural hot rod look right off the bat you don't really have to do anything got another so it's an international kb6 so that'll be late 30s just conventional front end work truck nothing special you got half ton short box step side looks like a 60 maybe a 2 63 chevy yeah half ton short box not bad a little step side deal looks like got some some mud in this cab corner this cab corner has definitely got mud in it bottoms of the fenders floors are soft so this one's not super clean but still a half ton short box let's hit this little ford real quick because we're right here probably 100 of these it's a 40 48 to 50 ford f1 I'm not, I, you know, I should take the time to learn what the differences is here. Something with the bedsides and the stake pockets and something with the hood trim that'll differentiate the years for you quick. But this one here, as far as I'm concerned, it's complete. It's got a cool patina, a little bit of rust in the front. It's got radio, probably a flathead V8 truck. Let's take a look. Yep, flathead under the hood. No air cleaner. And you can see that this carburetor is full of mouse poop. That's not good. Let's see. Motor stuck. Well, it doesn't turn easy anyways. I don't like to say they're stuck till until you really try. This here is about a 39 or 40 Chevy. Maybe 38. I'm not sure. I'm no expert on this this era here, but I know it's in that era. So probably 38 to 40 Chevy. That looks to be a half ton long box. Looks like original 216 under the hood, six cylinder. Pretty decent truck, definitely a project. Fenders are mashed up, grills mashed up. Missing a hood piece, big old pillow dent in the hood, in the cab of the truck rather. Missing a tailgate, so I don't expect that truck will bring a lot of money, but it's a good truck, it's a desirable truck. Now this one here is different. This one here looks like a heap. This is very desirable. You'll never find this pickup truck bed. For one this is a diamond t let's see what the model is it'll be on a tag over here so this is an 80s model 80s beautiful trucks when they're done real short nose on them cute little short fenders i mean this whole thing is like a little snub nose pickup looks like it's already got that factory chop correct bed this truck believe it or not for this was obviously in a pasture fire at some point in its life burned up pretty good this truck will still bring pretty good money you can't find any of those parts or pieces so there's a guy out there restoring one of those that's probably missing a bed and he's gonna have the opportunity to buy the whole truck which is why i love these sales i mean i can go ahead and buy as many of these trucks as i want and find them homes but we hope that they find homes straight from the auction for this more rare stuff that's what i'm going to try and go ahead and do on this one is try and find these guys that need these diamond tees in that condition so that they can get the parts they need to get their trucks finished because takes a long time that's it you're staring down a long road of searching for parts when you do one of those this here so we have one of these this is in a con line not sure in a year i have a 64 this is probably 63 4 a con line looks like this one's in pretty good shape this one's on our buy list it's not bad this one here doesn't have a lot of the typical cancer in it now i have one at home that's absolutely rot free so it's hard to compare anything to um, it looks like this one's the same color as mine at home as well because it was a, originally a navy blue truck you can see that navy blue paint's pushing through but my dad really likes these so we'll probably go ahead and try and get this one looks like it's missing the front wheel it's got some lower quarter damage over here bed floor looks good steps look good only a couple dead animals in here missing the glove box door but not terrible. Doghouse is all here. It hasn't been all hacked up and cut up. They like to go ahead and rot in here too. Missing a back window, but you know, overall, this thing's pretty good. Truck here, this is going to be on our list. Uh, this is a 306 model Diamond T. Just a super solid truck. And that's going to be because this one came out of Wyoming. Wyoming's pretty uh, gentle on paint. It's probably the best sun baking state we have. Wyoming, parts of it anyways. Utah as well. But this one here, the grill's all nice in it, has all the trim. This one here I looked at pretty hard in the photos and stuff, and uh, that's not missing anything, so that one's going to go ahead and be on our list. Watson 1600, I had one of those ones. 
pretty cool little quarter ton truck, little Japanese truck. So this is pretty neat. Somebody was using this truck just like it sits, it looks like. Uh, obviously diamond T, right, and then they cut the cab away, and it looks like this is just a hardcore farm truck here. Just uh, open fishbowl style. That's how I feel with no tinted windows. Got a couple internationals in here. So this one here is kind of a more rare one. Need these internationals kind of compete with cameos and stuff of that nature, where they were had a fancy bed trim. I forget what that model is called. But here's one, and I believe this is right because it has all the top trim and the side trim. So I believe this to be an original bed. I don't know if they call it his Golden Jubilee or something like that, but I'm not roll up on the international stuff. I know just enough to not get burned on one, but this is a four-wheel drive, half-ton short box, so that's a good truck. Same with the one next to it, four-wheel drive, uh, half-ton short box, A120. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, that's a long box. It's a half-ton long bed on that one. Next to it, early Chevy, pretty cool conventional front end. That looks to be about maybe mid to late 30s not really like a 65 gmc not a lot of interest in those that's diesel in that one at that point that might be a gmc diesel gmc brand half ton long bed c10 there we're gonna try and move a little quicker here little dodge uh looks like that was a military truck 200 model all right we'll finish out this line and we're gonna go grab the truck here so we got a rio here Gold Comet, never heard of that before. Rios are pretty cool. Rio speed wagons. They had a really forward front end. Pretty neat. They make good work trucks. Got a little one ton Chevy here. One ton long box. It's a 3800. It's going to be a nine foot bed. That one's on my list too. We've got Rio here, heavy duty. Another Rio speed wagon. Big work truck. Another Willys Jeep like we got stacked up on top of us right now. This one's on my list. Uh, no motor in this one got significant bed rod you know this one's not super clean got the correct tailgate on it which is always a bonus got some free junk that comes with it in the box all in good fun that's a pretty neat truck this one here i like this is a little panel truck here you have an international kb series uh some kind of delivery truck that thing's pretty cool I don't know what that was used for. Let's see if it says anything on this side. Nope, nothing I can make out. Almost looks like this was like a jail truck. Let's see what we got going on in the back of it. Oh, the motor's in the back of it and the push bumper. I don't know. You can put whatever you want in it now, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it's prisoners. Just cause it's cool. It's a Colorado truck. Nice solid. Ford cab over, obviously gonna be on our list. Uh, this is really cool. So this is a Diamond T. This is a cab over model school bus. Really, really neat. Big bus. Lots of work to do there. Let's check out the inside of this bus. This thing got bunk beds in it. Go ahead and show me the inside of this thing. It says Betsy's on the side. I don't know what they use this for. It looks like this is obviously a children's school bus. And then at some point somebody turned it into a little camper. Had seats facing each other bunk beds in here pretty cool hey people used to camp back in the day just like we do today but this was their camper go live in a van craze there's your sprinter van a 1938 or whatever got a big old boat here so these are cool these trucks here so this is a gmc model sometimes they call these like the general this is a massive truck i mean this thing is huge this is a really really big one Five window cab. I mean, everything on this truck is huge. This is a dual tandem tractor of some kind. This will have a big old diesel on it. But just a huge truck. Got to make sure you always get hoods latched and doors relapsed. Otherwise, this wind out here will rip them open and do damage to them. Uh, got a cool Mac there. Diesel. That thing's massive as well. Big, big, big truck truck. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a walk back and get the pickup. Kind of regroup here and see where we're gonna go. Uh, in order to cover some more ground, we're probably gonna do like a little hot lap in the pickup and I'll talk from the truck.
couple of diamond teas here. The diamond tea milk truck was really cool. I think that did pretty strong money in the sale. Uh, another diamond tea. It's an early one there. It's like a 201. Uh, that's a Federal or diamond tea there. Uh, looks like a little Ford. A Chevy. I don't know what that one is on the end. Never seen a grill like that. A little crawler, cat track, or uh, yeah, trail of track machine. White cab over, big GMC cab over, the international bus was really cool, a couple LCFs, 46 cab over, a uh, little cannonball, it's probably like a 630 GMC or so, uh, 41 cab over, a couple of Fords there, I bought that tan one next to that big Mac looking thing, a couple of cars, all this stuff did really, really good money in the auction. Couple big farm trucks there, grain trucks. Couple big trucks, big Peterbilt and um, Kenworth. Those actually did really strong. The Max, all of those tractors did real good money, like crazy money, like 14, 15 grand a piece. I couldn't believe it. That was before the premium. That I set a project did really well. That international pickup did real well. So did the Scout. Um, I don't know what that stuff there did. I wasn't paying attention to the auction findings too much. The Diamond T cab overs, I was real excited about at first, but I ended up not bidding on any of them because they were missing too many parts that you just can't get. They actually, they really didn't do that strong of money because of all the parts they were missing that you just, you can't find. That cab right there did like 4,500, that cab over cab. I really figured I'd get that for like 1,500. Um, that cab over there, I figured I'd pay three grand for. I ran it up to fifty five hundred, six grand. Had to get out of it. That international cab over did, I think, five grand. I sold one earlier this year, nicer than that for two thousand. I don't know what any of this stuff did. I know that white Ford cab over had real bad rust in the front fenders and stuff, and I think it still did five or six thousand. And then here's me grabbing a tailgate because Rob said he'd sell me a tailgate since I drove all that way. I went out there to just preview and was hoping I could get some smalls off the ground that they weren't going to put in the auction. He really wasn't interested in it, but he uh, sold me that tailgate, which I'm pretty sure I still have. It's rusty at the one end from being in that bathtub that was holding water. Beautiful sky that day, and there's those ammo bunkers in the background. There's a World War II, uh, obviously built by the government, and there's an old rail line, and it seems like, they don't know a lot of history, but it seems like the bombs used to come in on the, on the rail, obviously by train, and then they would get unloaded at these little clerical buildings where I guess they would count them or do whatever paperwork they had to do, and then they got trucked over to these, to these bunkers, and uh, they're concrete domes that are obviously, uh, you know, have some kind of explosive rating. If there were to be an accident, it, it wouldn't, you know, it would be contained. And uh, they're just really cool. They stay 55 degrees all the time. They're buried in dirt. They're obviously jet black, dark inside. You need a lot of light in there. But they're uh, they're about a 50 foot in diameter circle inside, all concrete. Another international cab over. I couldn't give the one I had away, but those two both did probably 12 grand between the two of them. That little uh, half ton short bed Chevy did super strong money. It's like 7,500. The one next to it did pretty strong money. That Ford did real strong money. I wanted that pretty bad, couldn't get it. That Chevy there, they threw fenders and wheels on to make it do a little better, and it did. I don't know what those big military tractors did. I'm not sure. Those things are pretty cool, though. When we were here, there was just so much to look at. You couldn't even, you would have had to spend days there, which I wish I would have done. But hindsight's 2020. Now I know next time we go to a collection this big, we're going to need to uh, definitely have some more time. Um, I just, you know, I thought I had enough time. I, we earmarked about a day and a half, and um, it, it ended up being nowhere close to enough time. We spent a whole day there. Um, the second day, we got in in the evening or the afternoon the day before, did a little bit, got a plan for the next day, spent the entire day um the following day and still didn't see it all and very easy to get lost we were getting lost all day it all looks the same and uh very few landmarks i had to really remember what i what vehicles were where and even with the drone you know you couldn't find the arc pickup we were driving around in but 
really awesome stuff. Some junk there, but you know, for the most part, it all had value. That Chevy truck with that exhaust coming through the hood or through the fender was pretty neat. Had a lot of big stuff there. That truck there in the end was pretty cool, the yellow one. That little just front cow and front fenders made me sick. That did like 3700 bucks online. It was only worth about 800 The 54 cab over had nasty rust in her rockers. It still did like six grand. That little uh, black and tan GMC, I'm sorry, orange and black GMC did real strong money. That white Chevy with a Bondo bucket still did like 2500 I think. A couple parts cabs and stuff. That stuff was all pretty rough. I glanced at it when we were there in person. I didn't bid on any of it. It was just too... Uh, it's too jacked up. There's a lot of cab issues with a lot of the stuff out here, it seemed like. A lot of roof damage. Like, I don't know if it's kids. They, they told us they had a lot of issues there at this place with stuff getting damaged or stolen. It's such a remote area that, I mean, honestly, if the owners were there, it's so big and so vast that you could be there and they wouldn't know you were there. They would have no idea. Even if you were driving a vehicle around, they likely wouldn't see you. So it's... um. Yeah, there was a lot of roof damage. It seemed like there was people jumping from roof to roof or something like that. I know the cab overs I, I was really hot on ended up having uh, some gnarly roof damage when I was, you know, really studying those photos, and I kind of backed off of them. That 54 Chevy one-ton pickup was really neat. I tried to buy that. Couldn't get it. Now, a lot of stuff that I guess they had sold parts off of over the years. This was like a 25-year collection they put together from various farm sales and auctions and, and cleaning stuff out. You know, they own a scrapyard here, so. for the sale because that thing's worth a lot more time. And they ship easy. It's a four wheel drive, 302, relatively rock free. It needs two rockers, but the rest of it looks okay. Quarters are nice. Yeah, yeah we're going to bother them about this. In here, I'm getting ready to get rolling. It's so automotive-like inside here, though. This... I'm figuring this out. This was not built this way. This is an automotive roof. So this is a Willys Jeep cabin, is what this is. This is a Willys, like, Suburban that they put on top of this boat. Yep, Willie's Overland right there. That's what this is. I started putting it together real quick here, obviously. You got door handles, window cranks, window sashes. Somebody set a Willie's Jeep body on top of this boat. That's exactly what this is. I knew I recognized that interior. Okay, so now that I'm looking at it like that, they did a pretty bang up job on it, honestly. That's pretty sweet the way they did that. They flared out, they used the whole body of the Jeep and they just flared it out to go down to the sides of the boat. Yeah, it must have always been outboard power. I don't know. That's bad that that's in that auction. Hey, I could buy all the glass for it. I know that because it's just a Jeep top. I want to say that those handles are there. That boat probably, how many handles are there? One, 20 guys are lifting that boat up, especially if that was military thing. You get 10 guys on each side, that boat's coming off the ground. All right, we're about done here. Uh, we filmed everything that we can film. Um, I'm sure we're gonna put together an awesome video. It might be kind of confusing. Best thing to do is go to the Crappies online auction site, look at the catalog for the sale, and you'll be able to see everything in an organized fashion. When you're here, it's crazy. 
from the drone or whatever looking down it's okay when you're in it you have no idea where you're at it all looks the same we were lost most of the morning just kind of filming everything i'd be i could be here and yap about each one of these trucks for a week we don't have that kind of time so we're going to go over some of the highlighted ones up front here that are really awesome some of the ones that i'm going to be bidding on just kind of show you guys what we got here so let's uh we'll start up here let's start with this old diamond t fire truck or rio sorry it's a rio so here we got looks like sunshine fire protection district district rio gold comet this is the second gold comet here this fire truck looks to be totally complete looks like this thing would run and drive and flash and scream ladders are even still on it here we got a diamond t 306 model wrecker it looks like it's still in use all in an old car and this is the one that i believe runs and drives because it is pretty nice got a new upholstered seat key hang hanging in the ignition gauges look like they work original six cylinder flathead I don't know what this thing is. This is some kind of ski, air powered ski mobile. Looks sketchy. Got a couple early cars here. We'll show them this. So you got a Corvair pickup. This one has the side door. It's pretty cool. It's your rear engine van. Here we got a little Buick 8 four door sedan. Uh, Ford four door sedan. It's about a 48, maybe 46, 47. Uh, Chevy four door. I'm sorry, it's a two door. It's like a business coupe. This car should sell well here. Another four door. To be a Buick. Yep. Chevrolet. Chevy four door. And then this thing. So this is a Diamond T suicide door Diamond T. This thing here, obviously, really rough. This was a Seagram's whiskey truck, I believe. This came out of Canada. It's super rough, but apparently it's only one of one. I have some of the story on that from the guy that owns all this stuff, but somebody's gonna go ahead and restore this thing. Probably make it look like a future liner or something. This here, I may bid on this. These are really rare. So this is called a Canopy Express. This was a factory built by GM. Basically a fruit stand truck for farmers. You'd have all your crates of produce and stuff in here. And this is what, this is a roadside stand truck. So it kind of sported like, so it was like a one ton panel, right? And then he used the bedside from the pickup. And then this would have had all canvas that dropped down. Wood floor, two seater. I mean, this was like a merchandiser truck. Really, really cool. You don't see a whole lot of these. They also made them in all the different configurations of half ton, three quarter and one ton. This is the most functional. If somebody wanted to go ahead and do something like that or use this for a merch truck today, I, I believe the one ton long wheelbase would be the most functional. This one in particular is in excellent condition rust wise. This Dodge Brothers pickup is super nice. This is uh, like a three quarter ton or a one ton. I think it's probably a one ton pickup. Really nice, all original sheet metal Dodge Brothers. Really cool truck. This is what I call a tonner. This is a one ton Studebaker from mid late 30s, late 30s, early 40s. They call this a sad face. It looks like it has a mustache or something that it's frowning. Ford panel truck, early international, just a good old farm work truck. This is a nice truck. This is like a 37 international. Um, missing the wheels, it might be in the bed, but nice all original complete truck. Yellow one's even nicer. It's got really great original paint. This Chevy's really cool. Just an old grain truck. This big Diamond T is a big diesel on this one. Probably a big Detroit in here. All right, so my personal favorites are coming up. So this is just an old cool wrecker truck, right? Another Diamond T 306, but what I'm really after is back here. So the two oval grill Fords. I love these trucks. I'm gonna be hunting these hard. Unfortunately, they're not that clean. This one here needs a roof skin. The roof is, is not repairable, it's really bad. I mean, it is repairable, right? But it's not, I wouldn't rock it like that, put it that way. It's got a hell of a crinkle in it. I would skin that roof. And then this one here has roof damage. I think this one can be saved and used. This one's got cab corner issues, but they both got flathead V8s. That one's earlier than this one. Still just really cool trucks. Dog houses in them, missing a seat, missing a glove box door, which had the VIN number on it, so that might be problematic, but you know, we'll get into all of that type of stuff. But this is part of the reason I made the drive right here to see those two in person. I love those trucks. So we have three oval grills of our own right now. So 55, 56 GMC, a hydromatic V8. This will have like a 346 Pontiac engine in it. Come on. 
Yeah, 288 or 346 Pontiac V8. This would be a good parts truck for somebody. Can use the chrome fronts and stuff, cab. I doubt anybody will use it like that, but I have seen people building some pretty cool pickups with trucks like that. So who knows? All right, so here we got a pretty cool truck. There's a Rio Speed delivery. I'm having a hard time figuring out what this truck is because it appears to have half ton axles under it. Maybe it was a half ton flatbed. That's not the right bed because I've seen one of these Rio pickup trucks. And a Rio pickup truck is top three rarest pickups. It had a really nice bed on it. it. Had a regular pickup truck bed, nice fenders. That's some kind of farm bed. But this appears to be a half ton truck. So kind of unknown there. I'm no expert on these. I just know that I don't see a lot of them with half ton stuff, equipment, running gear, whatever. So here's another Diamond T truck. This is, has a correct bed on it. So this one's an unfinished project. They are gonna have a lot of uh, like extra trimming grills and stuff. So they're pulling that stuff out, but that's correct bed box. Running board, that kind of deal. So that wraps it up for us, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll post an auction link for you probably here. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this amazing collection. We sure did. I've never seen anything like this before. Hoping I get some good purchases out of this sale. There's plenty for everybody. And we had a great trip. It's not over yet. We got a couple more stops to make, but we're getting kind of eager to get home here. We've been on the road for almost five days now. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like, share, comment. Check us out on Instagram. Check out my website, ironcitygarage.com, and uh, get, your, get you some merch on the website. Hey, thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have cars like these in your garage, if you have a fastback Mustang or convertible Impala, a nice original paint pickup truck or an old cab over truck, and you want to sell it, I'd love to try and put a deal together with you. You can get a hold of me at 412-335-6100. We pay excellent prices. We pay finder's fees. You know, it's no secret. We do make a little money on the YouTube video, so that allows me to pay, you know, sometimes market value or really good prices for these cars. We'd love to come out and drag it out of your barn. We'd love to film it. We'd love for you to be a part of that whole process. So if you have an original paint or an original old fastback Mustang that needs work like these ones I have on my trailer, or if you have an old pickup or again, a convertible Impala cab over truck, whether it doesn't matter where you are, we buy nationwide here in the United States, all the way as far as California. I've had stuff, New Mexico, Arizona, Oregon, Washington, high desert stuff we love. So, or if you're in the East Coast and it's a rusty Mustang or a rusty convertible Impala, that is fine. We typically don't buy many trucks on the East Coast, but I buy a lot of cars on the East Coast. If you have cab over parts also, especially for these early Fords, I'd be interested in that. And never hurts to send me an email or a text ironcitygarage at gmail.com you're welcome to send me an email or a text message probably the best you kind of get an instant answer that way 412-335-6100 i'd love to talk to you hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully we can make a deal on what you guys have on your farms or in your garages